replacement bill written in the next six months. Correspondent Scott McLean, a young man with special needs, was attacked in Chicago in a beating streamed by the alleged attackers on Facebook Live. Correspondent Reed Binion says the video has led to arrests. It's, it's, it's sickening. It's sickening. Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson reacting to the brutal beating of an 18-year-old man with special needs. You know, it makes you wonder what would make individuals treat somebody like that. Graphic video of the attack streamed live on Facebook shows the victim cowering in the corner of a room, his hands tied, his mouth covered, his attackers punching and kicking him and cutting into his forehead with a knife. The assailants also making politically and racially charged statements. Donald Trump! And terrorizing the victim with further threats. We're going to put this in the, in the trunk. You sort of put a brick on the gas and let the The man was hospitalized after police say officers found him wandering the streets Tuesday afternoon. At the same time, there were some individuals from a, another incident that were taken into custody at roughly the same address. Police later determined that four people arrested, two men and two women, were suspects in the attack. Thanks to the outstanding work of, of 11 district police officers and area north detectives, all four offenders from the incident are in police custody and awaiting formal charges. Reed Binion reporting. Coming up, Dean Snowy, Devore Cast, and Robert Workman with sports. A big upset in college basketball. The national champions go down. It's 10 past the hour. We'll be back with much more on First Light after these messages.